as sales managers, we have a lot of responsibilities. And one of, the, one of those responsibilities is really making sure that our team uh, is ex- actually executing on the activities that they're supposed to be executing on towards achieving the respective goals. So what I'm going to be showing you in this video is how do you actually now go about using uh, HubSpot CRM's sales dashboard to have at least a very good overview as to what your sales, sales activity is like. Let's check it out. One of the first things that you want to pay attention to when you're logging into your CRM is really a dashboard, right? Now, we're not going to look at your sales forecast or your deal forecast for now. What we're going to look at is really, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to look at your contacts created by the sales performance and sales productivity. And I'm going to show the relationship between the three of them. The first one is really based upon the, the KPIs that you have set up for your team, what it is that you want the team to maybe identify, you know, 10 new leads per week or one new lead per day, whatever that number is. This now gives them the ability, this now gives you the sales manager the ability to identify as to what these are. Now you can have this broken out between, um, based upon how you wanna measure it with the team, you can have it broken out between weekly, monthly, quarterly. But in this example, we have it set up for weekly. So this is the last week of December, first week of January, second week of January, and third week of January. All right, and as it is here, if the what the sales manager can do is that he can actually click, he or she can actually click and it will show the leads, all right? So it will show the list of names that of, of the persons that the sales rep would have identified. So when you're having that sales meeting, meeting, it's concentrated and you have a lot more information. So you don't have a lot more valuable and focused conversation with your team. The second one is performance. So we're looking at contacts created, right? Now the contacts created could come from two sources. The contacts created could come from a number of sources, actually. It could be from forms that's coming in from a webinar. It could be from um, marketing material that's out there that where people, where folks are, you know, submitting, submitting information so that someone from the sales team can reach out to them. So while you have those forms being, and you have new leads coming in, whether, or it could actually be from your sales rep that's bringing in all of those new leads, whether it's from a trade show or online event or what have you, right? So you get an understanding as to how many leads have been created so far. Now this one is tracking it on a monthly basis. And it's actually going to be doing a comparison between this month and last month. So the reason why it's saying here a 450% increase is because they have been between December to now, 33 new leads have been created. So it represents a 450% increase based upon the sales performance. Those leads have now been assigned to a specific sales rep. And now that sales rep or those sales reps are now working those leads and representing 130% increase in productivity, right? In terms of the sales performance. So these are now the number of contacts worked all within your CRM. So this goes from before. So this is actually now calculating or tracking um, the leads that not were just done, that didn't just come in representing this 33, but what would have come in in December, what would have come in in November that have not been worked as yet, or you are still in the process of working. So there's a full tally. Most importantly, out of all these deals that's being worked, how many deals, are, sorry, out of all these contacts that's being worked, how many deals are being created? Because of course we all want deals. And from here, we have to, we get an appreciation as to how many deals have been won so far. And again, you have a metric, you have a measure that is indicating whether it's a 66% increase, a 130% increase or drop altogether because we're working the deals, but we have no, we have no deals that's been won to date. The other one that's really, really important is productivity. Like exactly how productive is a team? What are the activities? What are the exact activities that they are doing to achieve any one of these things to the top? So out of the productivity standpoint, you're looking at, we've had 84 emails being sent from the entire team to date, right? And again, it's measuring from month to month. So that's a 68% increase altogether, all right? Then we're looking at things like meetings. Meetings represent a 50% increase between the previous month and now. So we've got 33 meetings to date, uh, measuring it from a month to month forecast, from, from a month to month metric. Number of tasks that have been executed on or created, it's 171% increase. And of course, your calls, right? And notes. So the calls means the calls are repre- the calls are just a matter of now having a track as to, okay, you have to make X amount of calls per month. Are you on track for that? So if it is that you've only done 18, but you're supposed to be doing 150, then you know that you are behind. 
And this is actually a good representation as to how you can use these three cards to help you properly track or monitor your sales team's performance within the CRM. And there you have it, right? So simple data is all concentrated in one area that captures all of the activities. And um, I want you guys to let me know, let me know as to how do you see something like this from a sales management standpoint and, and even also for your sales professionals, sales professionals, if you are using this, how do you now foresee this helping you when it's time to have those conversations with your sales managers about your activities, all right? Um, if it is that you guys want to have an idea as to how do you now get those KPIs built into your, C built into your CRM, especially your HubSpot CRM, check the link in the comments and I'll be sharing another video that shows how you go about building that. So that again, you get to put everything together and let's start tracking this thing the right way. All right, guys, take care. Peace.